on, get! Get! Shoot! I still see you! Alright, so today we are playing a game demo suggested by, I believe it was the developer, Dean the Dev. Wow! So we're giving that a try today. It is called Outrun. It looks like the full game will be available December 2024, so that's coming up here pretty soon, actually. Uh, so I'll go ahead and leave a comment uh, with the Steam page if anybody else wants to check it out. And the kind of gist of the game is, after leaving her relationship, Allison stays at a motel where nothing quite makes sense. Later, play as Emma on her night shift where the story begins. Through Emma's eyes, you'll finally understand the confusing moments from Allison's stay. Enter the mystery, each twist darker than the last. So we're just gonna jump right into it here, starting off with the loading screen. So while it's on the loading screen, uh, I do apologize that there was no amnesia video. I was very busy and just didn't have time to record. There will be one coming up this Saturday, though. Allison, tired of her failed relationship, decided to leave her boyfriend behind. She drove far, wanting to escape her old life until she found Bravo Motel. The motel sat alone, far from the city, far from everything. It seemed like a place for people trying to leave something behind, like her. She checked in for one night, hoping to rest, but as the night grew darker and the quiet became unsettling, Allison started to wonder if this motel had been waiting for her all along. I am very excited. Wow, this looks a lot nicer than I was expecting. They definitely- Oh, I have feet! I can see my body! Ooh, what is that noise? I don't like that. Uh, got my keys. My phone's dead, I need to find a charge. Whatever that noise is, I don't appreciate it. Oh, I don't need my keys now. Okay. What is that? Is that? Is that from outside? I don't know what that is. Alright, go to reception. This is the bathroom. Oh, I opened the door and this scared the shit out of me. Holy crap. Okay. No, this game, wow. Yeah, this game is actually very pretty. This is a lot different than I was expecting. I know the reception isn't this way, but I kind of want to get a closer look on the city. Ah, I can't. Oh, well. No, that's actually really pretty. I do really like that. Oh, is this reception? It is. A <laughs> blue cow. That's a good Red Bull knockoff. Hello. Hey, um, do you have a charge I can borrow? My phone's dead. Sorry, I don't. I don't even have a phone. Yet? <laughs> no problem. And Emma, about earlier, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have reacted like that. It's okay. I know you're going through a lot. But, Allison, I need you to lock your door and stay in your room, no matter what. I think he found me. What? What are you talking about? There's a car lurking around here. The windows are blacked out. I couldn't see who was inside, but it was a man. But what about you? You don't even have a phone? Allison, please, just stay in your room. I'll be fine. And she indeed was not fine. Oh, no, she's gonna be fine. She has some masks to cover up her face. Some swords on the wall. This guy won't know what hit him. Wait, was room 10 not mine? 
Oh no, mine is the clearly open door. What room am I? I am room eight. I sense something was off about her, but I don't know. Now I'm scared. Yeah. Oh my God. What the hell? That's not okay. I miss dialogue now. No, please. I am trying to block my door. Oh God. Hey, am I not locking my door? That was my one job and it was very clear that I should lock my door. The animation is actually pretty smooth as well. Eat your leftover pizza. I would love to eat my leftover pizza. Okay, I have to pull out my chair. Then sit down. Okay. That's some good looking pizza. I really want pizza now. This is gonna be a problem. I should take a shower before bed. All right. Am I really not locking my door though? That's literally the one thing I was asked to do. Lock my door, don't come out. Ugh. Hurry up. Is that Elmer's glue? Elmer's shampoo? That's actually really funny. I just want this night to end so I can go home in the morning. That's relatable. Turn water off. I feel refreshed. Time to sleep. I have a long drive home tomorrow. You're not gonna creep out on me again, are you? Okay, my door is still not locked. Going to bed. What dark terrors await me? Oh, I hate this. Uh oh. Oh, that's a very big nah. -uh. Oh, she's very dead. She is very, very dead. Oh, okay. What was that? Did I dream of it? You know, I'm gonna do the one thing I was told to do. I'm not opening that door. I'm hiding in the bathroom like a little bitch baby. Oh, I wish I could look through this peephole. I really wish I could- oh. Is this window opening? No? I feel like I am maybe supposed to open the door. Right? Yeah, who's there? Sorry to disturb you at this hour, but I need to ask some questions about the woman at the reception tonight. Leave now or I'll call the police. I just have a few questions. Could you open the door, please? No! I said leave. I'm calling the police now. Uh, no need to call them. I'm leaving. Sorry for disturbing you. Yeah, you better be sorry. Oh my god, is that the guy Emma warned me about? It can't be. What if he comes back? Wait, what about Emma? I need to check on her. I'm too scared to go outside. I'll call reception. The music is making me very tense. Huh, not shocked. 
damn it, I have no choice. I need to go to the reception. Do I... Uh, do I really care about Emma this much? Guys, close your toilets. Uh... Okay, there is a run button. <laughs> Hello, ma'am? Hello? Oh, an axe? Why do I feel like that's very out of place? Emma! Uh, can I grab one of these swords? Emma? Oh. This is a weird... Is this what receptionist rooms look like? I can't just call the police without any proof. I feel like I have proof of plenty. Okay, gotta find Emma. The van wasn't there earlier. Hello? Oh! Dog? What? Hello? Aha. Uh -huh. She went out the window. Got any pizza? No. Okay, it says I'm supposed to investigate the room. Well, I suspect I can just go out back. No? Uh, I'm obviously missing something. What does that say? Oh, Harry? I don't know, man. Uh... I mean, I've pretty much investigated the room. Just weird. Oh! Oh my god, they saw me. I don't want to die. I have to get out of here. Through the window! Oh, 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 oh. Run! Am I actually being chased? Running, it's, only, or it's the only clear memory she has left after someone murdered her entire family. The killer is still out there hunting her. Traumatized and with no memories, Emma fled her blood-stained home with nothing but the clothes she wore. 
Luck brought her to a small motel where the owner gave her a night shift job and pays her daily in cash. As the night passes, the pieces of her broken memories will start falling into place. Nothing is what it seems, and every answer only leads to more questions. This is just the beginning of Emma's journey to uncover the truth about that terrible night. Ooh, there is a second chapter. Okay. Okay, am I supposed to do anything specific? Wait, am I playing Emma now? Is that what happened in here? Emma. Tab to hold my tasks. Oh, God, okay. So we're gonna close this door. Uh, for the love of hospitality, please put all the furniture back where it belongs. These guests think they're interior designers or something. I swear some guests treat our rooms like their personal art studio, mop up whatever mysterious masterpieces they leave on floors, tables, you name it. Ah yes, the mysterious case of vanishing amenities. Keep replacing them because apparently our guests think toilet paper is a souvenir. <laughs> I mean seriously, who steals toilet paper? The never-ending trash saga. Rooms, office, storage, everywhere. Why can't people just use the bins? The fun part, time to play refill the bottles, our daily game of shampoo, and soap musical chairs. The great drain investigation. Check all drains because apparently our plumbing system is doubling as a hair salon storage unit. Lost and found, more like a finder's keepers. If guests can't remember their stuff, that's on them. And my personal favorite, money. Saving tip, a lights off. I'm not powering the entire city here. Special notes, room one is our gold standard, folks. Make the other rooms jealous. Only take two room keys at a time. We're running a hotel, not a key collection museum. Pro tip, use the cleaning basket. Your future self and back will thank me later. The mopping rule, if water looks like coffee, it's time to change it. We're cleaning, not painting with dirt. Emergency protocol when disaster strikes, and oh boy it will, use the office phone, and yes, yes, I'll get you money for your phone tomorrow, I promise this time. Oh, okay, so this part is just a sneak peek of what's coming. Feel free to explore and play around with the items, there's no ending yet, so just return to the main menu when you're done exploring. I've got lots of exciting updates planned. Don't forget to wishlist the game on Steam to stay updated. Your support means the world to me. The devs. Okay, so I guess that is the end of the demo. And the rest of this is just kind of exploring, doing whatever you'd like. But yeah, that was actually quite enjoyable. I'm gonna walk around here while stuff's going on. But, yeah, that was actually very enjoyable. It looks like it's going to be a lot more in-depth in the future with lots more stuff to do. Uh, I think my biggest critique would be I'm not quite certain what the weird, like, supernatural jump scare stuff is, but it is also a demo, so I'm sure that'll be explained in the future. The dog kind of confused me at the window. I, I think my house coat jumped at me in the beginning and actually scared the shit out of me. So yeah, they were pretty good scares. I'm just a little bit confused on the theme going on. But I'm excited to see more. Uh, I'm excited to play this if you guys want to see that. Uh, the game is coming out next month when this is posted. So yeah, if you want me to check it out, just let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to go into the full game, see how it is. But yeah, if you like the video, give it a big like. We do appreciate that. Comment below any games you want us to see in the future or just any critiques you have as well. Any involvement and any engagement we do love to see and it is very much appreciated. And if you want to see more horror content or more non-horror content, we do shockingly play non-horror games on our channel. Give us a subscribe. Check our channel out. We have a lot of stuff coming up in the future, and we have a lot of stuff out now for you guys to enjoy in the meantime. But until next time, bye bye.